You can't catch me. This is the story of how I escaped from the Gurney police station with a carload of Skylanders without so much as a scratch. Okay, okay, it's, it's not quite that dramatic. The simple truth is that I made a private deal to buy some Skylanders. Most of them were still new in box. I didn't want to risk sending them through the mail, and they weren't that far away. So one Sunday evening, I made an impromptu trip down to northern Illinois to pick up some Skylanders. So why a police station? Well, here's a pro tip. If you're making a local deal with a stranger, and you don't want them coming to your house, police stations are a great alternative. They tend to be well lit, under surveillance, and someone would have to be pretty bold to try and rip you off with a building of cops just a few feet away. Some police stations even have designated areas specifically for this purpose. In any case, let's take a quick look at what I was able to pick up in this lot. Series 1 Drobot, Series 1 Dino Rang, Series 1 Stump Smash, Series 1 Zook, Series 1 Sonic Boom, Series 1 Cinder, Series 1 Chop Chop, Series 1 Voodoo, Series 1 Wham Shell, Times 2, Legendary Trigger Happy, the Walmart exclusive version of Drill Sergeant, three Red Drill Sergeants, Blue Bash, a Flocked Stump Smash, Series 2 Flame Slinger in a damaged box, Halloween Fright Rider, also in a damaged box, Series 2 Drobot, two metallic green shroom booms, not one, not two, but three metallic green gill grunts, golden flame slinger, molten hot dog, also Walmart exclusive, two legendary stealth elves, legendary light core chill, two polar whirlwinds, one jade flashwing, two glow in the dark sonic booms, one glow in the dark fright rider, a giant's legendary triple pack, the dragon fire cannon battle pack, the scorpion striker battle pack, swarm, two pumpkin eyebrows, one Granite Crusher, one Legendary Bouncer, two Scarlet Ninjinis, plus one Inner Damage Box, four Gnarly Tree Rex, one Eon's Elite Spyro, two Event Exclusive Hot Streaks, one Patina High Volt, a Birthday Bash Big Bubble Pop Fizz, Easter Brownie Earth Trap, Nitro Freeze Blade, Inner Damage Box, three of the best in-game variant ever, one Doomstone, two Enchanted Hoot Loops, two Jade Fire Krakens, one Legendary Free Ranger, a Legendary Night Shift, Jolly Bumble Blast, Kickoff Countdown, Heavy Metal Sprocket, Enchanted Light Core Star Strike, two Legendary Zulu, Legendary Light Core Grim Creeper, Punk Shock, two Outlaw Brawl and Chain, a Life Snake Trap, a Shark Shooter Terrafin and Shark Tank Combo Pack, a Nitro Magna Charge and Rattle Shake Double Pack, the Dragon's Peak Adventure Pack, Hurricane Jet Vac and Jet Stream Combo Pack, the Archean Crossbow Battle Pack, a Spyro's Adventure Legendary Triple Pack, a basic triple pack from Spyro's Adventure, featuring Whirlwind, Double Trouble, and Drill Sergeant. This bonus set of stickers that was originally released with the Trap Team Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. And then there were a few loose figures that were included with the lot as well. In amongst these loose figures, I did find one interesting piece. This custom-painted Series 1 Eruptor. Looks like maybe they were trying to make a volcanic eruptor of sorts. There were a trio of Skylanders pins featuring Chaos, Spyro, and Stealth Elf, a 3DS bobble stylus, and what I believe to be are a few Mega Bloks figures, perhaps? I will be keeping a few items from my personal collection. Some of the items have been claimed by SCL Platinum members, but still, the majority of the items you see here will end up at the SEL auctions. The sealed new in box items will hit the private auctions first, but if they don't sell there, they could end up at the public auctions at a later date. So if you haven't been paying attention to those auctions, now might be a good time to start. Happy hunting.